Hello ladies and gentlemen and newcomers to my channel. My name is Causal Jeffrey and welcome to my Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown playthrough. This is episode number 17 and where I last left off I was at Anchorhead Bay which was uh, the place where I was supposed to protect the general, uh, an erosion general so that way I could stop the war. However, that all went awry. So now I have no idea what, I kind of don't know what the next mission is and if there's a cutscene, well... Here you, oh, here we go. The island we went to was supposed to have been secured by the ground forces. They hadn't gotten a handle on things by the time we got there. So now we were stuck in the middle of a half-assed campaign. My job was to get the planes ready for combat, making repairs and handing them over to our troop of cons. Thing is, the enemy still had the hangars. The comms were still down. So none of us knew what the hell was going on. The last transmission I heard before everything went to shit was that some prisoners from an Ocean military penal unit rioted and managed to escape. They stole some jets and now they were flying around, taking out their former allies left and right. I wonder if any units like ours were out here, creeping around. Hearing the Ocean jets firing at each other overhead chipped away at morale. Since the radio was out, it was quiet. I liked it better that way. All I heard was the gunfire. Here we were, walking around carrying rifles. We were pilots, damn it. Friendly fire will probably kill us. You know things are desperate when the guards that used to lock us into solitary are now telling us it's better we all stick together. I guess they think our odds of surviving this war are better that way. After walking for miles across the battlefield, we came across the wreckage of a plane. Passenger, not military. I knew that rose. It was an erosion liaison plane. The guard's dogs smelled something and took off. They led us to a cliff. And the bodies. Today, I lost everything. When Osea attacked our capital, my father, a man who was never really suited to being the king, was killed. I was to be flown out of the war zone to safety, but the plane was shot down by rebels. The entire crew was killed in the crash. Soldiers appeared and one shot at me. My dog went after him and I shot him to pieces. He was my best friend. After all those speeches I gave, about working together for peace. I thought everyone felt the same as I did. <gasps> I'm sure the soldier who shot at me knew I was the princess of Arugia. He was Arugian too. More soldiers have come. Now, there is no one left to protect me. I am so numb, I cannot move. Watch as one of their dogs approaches and sniffs mournfully at my dead friend. I wonder if it grieves for him as much as I do. I can barely think. I feel weaker by the minute. I don't know who these soldiers are with, but I managed to take a sip of the water they gave me. How long have you been here? Somehow, I muster the courage to answer the woman's question. Tell her I've been there three days. They gather around me with grim looks on their faces. What would they do if they knew I was the Erosion Princess? After searching the cockpit of the plane, the woman who spoke to me before came back to me. This is an air-to-ground tactical radio. It still works! I noticed she walked with a limp. She knelt down next to me and asked her companions to give me some food. And then, very softly, she said, You see, I used to listen to your broadcasts, your royal highness. Just what did you see here?
Okay, enough talk. Your opinions have all been taken into consideration. Beyond the seizure of Barbanti, which is important, and supporting the Erusian officer. At this point, I just don't know what our strategy is, or what our mission will be. Radio communication is still patchy for both the military and civilians, so we're getting zip from Mission Command about our orders. Still, with countless Erusian forces in the area, it's too dangerous for us to stay around here waiting for a miracle. Now, regarding Count's suggestion to think about self-defense, uh, I think we should make a break for Tyler Island. It was a large Ocean base before the start of the war. Count says his previous squadron took part in an operation to seize control of the island. It has the only base that will get us to the space elevator without refueling. It's also a transport facility for supply ships that provide drones and ammo for arsenal birds. For the Ocean forces that are looking to reclaim the space elevator, those are two great reasons in its favor. If everything went according to plan, the base may already be in allied hands when we get there. Though based on what Count told me about the island operation, it won't be easy to seize control. If the ground troops have managed to open the bridgehead, the transport route to Osea for supply ships should be available. With so much at stake, I can't imagine Arusia just giving it up without a fight. Things could really have gone bad. Even if there are enemies left, they should be pretty easy to suppress. I just want to go home, man. Me too. With that look on your face, Trigger, I know exactly what you want to do. If Trigger's ready to kick ass, then so am I. Damn straight. We're with you, Trigger. It's decided then. Let's get all the aircraft and haul ass to Tyler Island. Although we can avoid the Arsenal Bird's anti-air network, there's still remnants from the Erusion forces. I want to get to the island without getting into any unnecessary combat. Pick a fast craft and fix it how you want. Pack for a long trip, but remember, if you drag your ass, you'll get left behind. Yep, it is very grim right now. So, yep, I'm gonna use the old trusty reliable F-15C on this one, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. If anything, that's my configuration. I swear. Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. For story purposes, this is why I, st I stick to this plane, but I'm actually starting to like the plane. It's just a very... How could I put it? It's just a very... It's very reliable, it moves very quick, and it just... It's it's fast, and it, it... It it doesn't... It's got a very balanced performance level, if you ask me. Okie dokie. Tango 2-3, pursued by multiple tanks and APCs. They'll all go down if we don't pull back the landing craft. What? Abandoned Tango 2-3? Something's not right. Tango 2-3, we don't have the firepower to assist you. You're on your own. Please, we need help. Wagtail is on the Ocean landing ship. What's going on? What did you say? Multiple boats is inbound. Damn it. Prepare for anti-air combat. Caution. This is the AWACS Longcaster. The aircraft in your area belong to the LRSSG. Allied aircraft. A retreating vehicle is taking fire. Requesting assistance. Roger. Okay. ID complete. Vehicle confirmed destroyed. Our air support is here. Target destroyed. Update us on Tyler Island. Our forces are scattered and on the run. Thank God. Oh, the we were waiting for retreating units here to carry them out to safety. Do me a favor, Longcaster. Many of our allies are cut off. We need support and an escape route. Understood. We'll do what we can. I'm gonna start on the closest units. Forces. Take out any hostiles in their area. Targets are ID'd. The boots on the those are those are Erusian boats. Thanks. It's absolute chaos out there. The Erusians are even starting to fight amongst themselves. Well, now we know what's going on, but shit. <laughs> That's count for you. Take 
<laughs> oh, hello. And that's particularly why I'm not going to bother with them right now. Ow. There we go. I kind of let that happen by mistake, and it was my fault. There we go. Well, that was t that's expected. Overkill, but whatever. Not very much. Very, oh, wow. You son of a bitch, I swear. Right? Those are Hausers. Wow, they're actually on the move. Cool. <laughs> I didn't realize Hausers could do that. I really didn't know what to do. I just fired as best I could. Regular helicopter. Oh, you made it too easy. But I made it easy on myself, too. There we go. That's actually the best flying I've ever done. Oh, that's a tank. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops, I almost hit smacked into the ground. I gotta be careful. You guys got out alive. You have time to figure it out. We need to ID the bogeys. Take them down if they're hostile. I'm gonna take Understood. care of that after once I take care of these. Take care of all ground forces. Alright, so I need to go after them. Kind of use those full power engines. 
Did I read I I DM or something? No, I didn't. Visual. Like an eagle. <laughs> Hence, I am an eagle. Well, that was a whoops. <laughs> Too early on that. Let me slide in on that tail. You have to outrun those missiles because I don't have very many flares left. Oh, an F-35C. Interesting. The only reason why I couldn't, I had to outrun him is because I couldn't really maneuver very much. <sighs> okay. I'm going, I'm going. He's out in the clear, so. I was about to get that last fight or two, but whatever. <laughs> All right, fine. All aircraft, we just updated your threat matrix via data link. All right. Take out those targets. Don't miss. Don't want to hit the pretty ladies down there. Hurry. Oh, geez, I was so close to the ground. I mean, good grief. Take out those targets. Wait, was that? Did I take out? A I did. Oh, cool. <laughs> Yeah, that is valuable information. 
This is where the usefulness of the F-15 comes in handy. It's fast. The supply ships have been launched from the mass driver. If the supply ships make it to the arsenal bird, they'll be able to resupply it. They may be loaded with new weaponry that we don't even know about. We have no choice but to take down the supply ships before they can get within the arsenal bird's air defense network. You've got to hurry or you're not going to make it. Missile. I'll make it. Missile. All aircraft, remain on high alert. We got bandits in coming on radar. Missile. You're gonna have to forget about them for now. Missile. Focus on destroying that supply ship Missile. first. We're sitting ducks like this. But the supply ship get too far away, we'll never be able to catch it. Whoo! Whoops a daisy. Jeez, that was quick. Looks like that's one of them down. Remember, there are two supply ships out there. Hurry up and shoot the other one down. There it is. Get in clear area. Go. Got your number. Am I not hitting anything? There we go. The oh, yeah. Get above the. Get over the. Just trying to get out of the thunder clouds. There we go. Sorry if I'm just constantly we looking, no I'm just like, I like looking from out of this. Our base that is nearly out of food and fuel. We need to do something. Alright. That was fun. Didn't fail this time, but that was fun. If anything, I wasn't expecting to take those things down within 90 seconds. I mean, holy crap. I mean, seriously. Anyway. Good. Take a seat. Everyone's here. All right. Good work in sinking the supply ships. Not to mention saving the refugees. However, we're in no position to start celebrating. Even the commander here is starting to fray from the stress. Can't say I blame him. Now, Tyler Island is in a state of complete anarchy. This base isn't safe either. The faces you see around you are the only friends we've got. Take a good look. Well, I'm a looking, all right. Oh yeah, S rank. Heck to the yeah. Got a new nickname. Cool. All right, so that's the end of episode 17. So yeah, in the next episode, I do know for a fact that Mr. X will make his appearance, but not just yet. Well, I mean, in the next episode he will, but either way, no, <laughs> not to spoil everything, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you leave me a like, it lets me know how I'm doing. If you leave me a comment in the comment section, that will also let me know how I'm doing. And I will leave an ending card for the previous episode if you haven't seen already. And I will leave a link in the description to my channel if you feel so bold to see more of my videos or you're just curious what my channel is all about. And I will leave a link in the description for my Twitch account if you want to watch me live stream or you're just curious what I'm playing. And last but not least, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you'll be up to date every <laughs> every day that a new episode is um, uploaded. So that way you're not <laughs> you're not uh, out of the loop per se. So and following me would be actually very useful and it would help other people too. So thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>